Hey Gemini, Moon Pie here doing your love reading for the end of January. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Let's take a look and see what the energies are of the person first that you are dealing with and then your energy. Don't forget to check out the February love playlist. It's already uploaded on my channel so you can get already the uh, love readings. A little sneak peek. They're up kind of early. So you can go check them out. All right, so Gemini, let's see what your person's love energy or energy, what's going on with them for the end of January, 2020. All right. So they have the eight of wands. They're not really communicating too much. Um, feeling a, a loss. There's no travel. There's no desire to go anywhere. Maybe they're just busy. Who knows? But um, this is fire energy. Um, they might have lost that loving feeling for you um, just for the couple of weeks. Like maybe you guys are just in like, you're in um, the ebb and flow. Um, you were in a flow, but now you're in an ebb right now. It's just a couple of weeks. It doesn't really mean anything, but travel delays, um, not making plans, not really moving forward, just being stuck, dealing with the day-to-day -day things. Okay. This is what's going on with them. Okay. Um, they're also dealing with, um, coming out of a depression time. Um, and that might be why, um, I'm feeling like somebody's healing. They're healing something. Um, this is usually like a mental thing that's going on with them or with, you know, whoever you're dealing with when the eight of swords is here reversed. So we have two eights reversed. So, um, yeah, I was thinking like of the infinity sign, right? If you turn it upright, it's an eight. So yeah, you guys are in like, um, an ebb state right now. This person's in an ebb state. They're not this static, no movement forward, stuck stuck in a situation, trying to come out of it, um, trying not to be in, I feel like they felt like they were in like a, um, I don't know, like a, a victim. My dog is up there barfing up a bone. He's so loud. So I feel like they were kind of in like this, um, stuck position, uh, and they're trying to come out of it right now, trying to deal with, with something. Okay. So again, eventually things will start flowing again. They just have like this. So it might be like, um, maybe like the, what do we have? Like 12 days left, 13 days left from the time you listen to this video at the end of January. So like maybe halfway through, you know, the first like five or six days, they're just kind of like trying to come out of some type of ebb that they were in. And then things start changing and things, then they, they come out of it and they, they ready for a new cycle. If you're a male listening, it's something to do with their um, female hormonal cycles as well. Um, or if you are a female listening, um, they might be waiting for you to get through <laughs> your cycle so things can like pick up again, right? Um, but there will be some type of like either internet communication or whether a friend or a lover or whichever it might be. It's just things are on hold right now with this person. Okay, King of Swords, so, you know, you could be connected to another air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Um, but they're going to be like getting themselves back in an upright position. Um, or if, like I said, if it was you and you're going through something and they're just not communicating with you at this time, they're stuck because you're kind of stuck. Then things start turning around again and you guys will have like some kind of communication again. They will, you'll straighten up. You'll, you know, you'll be back to your normal self, you know, your normal Gemini self. Um, but I feel like, um, there will be communication because the King of Swords is always about communication. So there will be some type of communication that will be reestablished between you two sometime during this. Oh, wow. And then the love will come back around. Okay. So there may have been indifference or there was just, like I said, whatever was going on with that ebb, that ebb energy, where you guys weren't communicating. It was just like disappearing on each other, being indifferent to one another. Well, that's in reverse now. So the love flows back in. There's the arms come unlocked. We're open again. Um, if it was you or maybe it's them just kind of like opening themselves up again to you. So probably some type of communication towards closer to the end of January, like not the third week, but like maybe the fourth week. Okay. So let's take a look and see. your energy what's going on with you oh yeah um okay you're going to be just like a loving sweet gentle person you're not going to push very passive energy very um compassionate understanding um um 
being very like, you know, if, if you are dealing with a male, it could be a water sign. If not, this person showing to be this way towards you, of course. Um, but this is just an energy of like being an understanding parent, being compassionate, loving, warm, um, helpful, gentle, kind, that kind of thing going on. Okay. Oh, and the sun. Good. Very positive energy starts flowing again. Leo energy, very positive. Things coming out in the open. This is a card about, you know, children. This is a card about playing. It's a card about having fun, being joyous, you know, kind of like where you're running through the, the, the poppy fields. And, you know, did you ever see those old videos, you know, those old in movies, people running through the poppy fields and blowing wishes and all that joyous, happy, childlike kind of energy flowing between you. So King of uh, Wands in the reverse. Wow. Um, I feel like if, you know, if you're dealing with this person, um, they're not going to, the King of Wands in the reverse is generally somebody who is like not taking leadership and not, they're just being very passive, maybe even a little cowardly, but just not really pushing anything. So I feel like you're going to definitely take on this energy where you're not going to force anything right now. You're just going to let your person do what they got to do and you just want to be in a happy place with them. You're not going to try to like um, lead them in any type of direction or anything like that. You, you just... You just want them to be happy. You just want them to be joyous and you want them to be with you and be happy and not worry about whatever the ebb was that was keeping them distant or whatever it was. You just want good, 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 good. Okay. Yeah. So lots of communication coming, no more hiding. Um, like I said, um, you know, you won't have to hide. I feel like, um, for you, if you've just kind of been letting them go through whatever it is that they need to go through for a little while, um, you're just going to, you're going to come across more as this energy, being gentle and kind and playful and fun. Um, this energy here, um, you're not going to, like I said, be in a position to like to be demanding or forceful or, any, or lead them in a particular way. You're just kind of like, but you are going to be open and you are going to communicate um, with them. You're not going to just only have fun and not say anything like you will. Um, but you are going to keep hush hush about anything that might, if you feel you say something that might stir them back into disappearing, like you're going to be very cautious or very careful about any communication <clears throat> you have with them. You'll be a bit more peaceful and relaxed in the communication so that you can just try to make this be the forefront of, you know, happiness, you know, not being, in a, not being sad all the time or grumpy or worrying or anything like that. You, you like, who's got time for that, right? You just want happy joy. All right. So you're detaching definitely from any toxicity. Um, if they were going through a toxic situation, you've detached yourself from that and you just waiting for them to come around. This is Capricorn energy waiting for them. This is Leo energy. If I didn't say waiting for them to just kind of like come around, there's, there's no, like, there's no obsessiveness here. You, um, you just, this is health. Devil in reverse represents healthy connection. Okay. Letting go of attachments or addictions. And, um, you know, I just see you kind of saying, well, they're going through this thing and I just want them to be happy and I don't want them to, um, be stuck in any kind of addictive situation or whatever they're dealing with. Um, I'm not going to rock the boat, but I'm certainly not going to keep my mouth a hundred percent shut. I am going to be compassionate and joyous towards them. Um, but I am going to tell them that their, whatever their issues are not affecting me, I'm detached from them. So I can just be this compassionate, kind and happy, positive person in their life. I don't want to be the reason for their having their struggles. If anything, I want to be the reason for why they don't have their struggles. And I want to show them the light. All right, Gemini. So you have like a really positive reading here. Um, it's almost like very humanitarian, like you're just really caring about your person or whomever it could be a lover, could be a friend, a spouse, whatever a family member. Um, but I really, really like your energy for the end of, um, January. I feel like you're, you're being the do-gooder. <laughs> so 
All right, that's it. Those are the readings. I hope you enjoyed them. I will see you guys. I should be on tomorrow, Monday at 3 p.m. to do the weekly reading. Um, and this was just for the last two weeks. So I hope you enjoy the new format. I have my little Gemini down here, a little st uh, constellation up there. So I will see you guys very soon. Check out your February love readings. Bye.